Good day, people. Welcome back. Today is Monday, the 13th of March. It's 4 p.m. I went on a bit of a hike today. I'm in the far west of um, Campot Province. I'm in the far west of Campot Province. I'm not too far away from the uh, Saint, uh, to the border of St. Nookville Province. So today I randomly decided to go to a, uh, a waterfall. Apparently it's a waterfall on the far west of Campot Province towards St. Nookville Province. The name of the waterfall is... I don't know if it picks up on camera. And long, Anlong Tom Waterfall. Tom means big. It's been a pain to ask trying to find this place though. Um, I had to ask two people, backtrack a bit, got a little bit lost. Uh, Google Maps is useless trying to get here. Google, Google Maps isn't quite accurate. So um, if you're gonna come here by yourself, if you're not coming here by Tuk Tuk, you're gonna get a little bit lost. But um, like I said, it's just lucky that I uh, it's lucky that I could speak a little bit of the language and then I could ask people for directions, but if you don't speak the local language, you're going to be fucked. Excuse the French. But anyway, apparently it's uh, down this road. Um, maybe about two, two k's away. So, uh, let's uh, give it a try. Ooh. I mean, it's a dry season, so I'm not expecting any water, but it doesn't matter. Like the whole point is the journey. It's not really the, the, the destination for me. It's just a journey. So as long as I get there and I can find the place, it still feels like a, a nice big achievement. And then I could just, you know, catalog it in my brain and then come back in the future. So it's going to be dusty as hell. Uh, let me put, pull my visor down. So I've got a school just to the left here. If that helps people at home. I'm only about 200 meters away from the freaking highway, but um, like I said, it's a pain in the bloody ass. No idea how how much money people are paying to talk talk to get out here. Probably like twenty bucks because we're we're about thirty five kilometers from uh, Campot City. So that's a seventy kilometer round trip, which is a massive hike for a tuk tuk. So I'm assuming a tuk tuk driver is going to charge about twenty bucks if you want to come out here. In terms of petrol, it's probably going to cost me about two dollars in petrol for my scooter. I mean, a day scooter rental is six dollars, but I've rented mine eighty dollars for the month. You can find seventy dollars by paying eighty bucks. I avoided having to give my my passport. You know, I don't really trust my passport in other people's hands. Very, very nice mountains. Yeah, so this is all part of the uh, Bokor National Forest and the mountain range. So Bokor Mountain is not one mountain, it's a few different mountains. Actually, it's more than a few. <laughs> it's a shitload of mountains. It's all part of the mountain range. So I'm assuming I'm going the right way. Otherwise, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to end up nowhere. Yep, 
yeah, as you can see, like, the uh, road here is not so great. I mean, the, the freeway, the highway rides up was very nice. On the highway, but once you get off the highway, it's unpaved. Uh, see if we can work out what these signs are saying. According to Google, I'm meant to turn right here. Nah, it's all in Kamei. Oh. I'm hoping this says waterfall, 200 meters. If not, we can always backtrack and uh, turn right. Okay, so Google's telling me I will arrive in 600 meters, so let's see. A little bit uh, thirsty, riding, riding out in like, you know, this heat. Have a drink of water once I arrive. When you're riding through like a deep sand, it's very hard to control the bike. Please, please be it. I think this is a good sign because um, I see a lot of shops and stuff and normally you won't see shops unless um, just don't take any vehicles inside. Don't take your vehicles inside. Well, what am I meant to do? Leave it there? Have it get stolen? So I'm pretty sure I'm at the right place. I think by inside, I mean like don't take it past this uh, car park area. You know, English. So I'll park my bike here. And then um, see if anyone's selling a cold drink. There's absolutely no one here. Got the bloke walking towards me now. Let's see if he's gonna try to, to uh, hustle me. Hello? Me and that waterfall underneath? Hmm? Your pie. Your pie. Your pie? Ah, up man. Ah. Ah, but, 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 Don't take up one. Don't take up one. Yeah. Don't like the uh uh just lad lad the dick the more one. 
So that guy was the uh, security, whatever the hell he was. So apparently if you're a foreigner, it's uh, $3 to get in. And um, I said, um, I'm, I'm not a, I said, I'm not a foreigner. I have a, well, anyway, let me start from the start. First, he says, I can't go in. This is closed. Um, this is closed. at five. Look, it's another 40 minutes till it closes, but he didn't want to let me in. Um, so I essentially had to pay like a dollar bribe. Well, he asked for a dollar. I gave him a dollar and <laughs> he let me in. Um, yeah, he's making some bullshit that I still had to pay money, but I, I don't have to I have a Cambodian visa. But anyway, I'll just pay the uh, the buck. End up paying him a dollar twenty-five just to get in and. Um, So it's not too far. Come on, dog. Be my friend. This dog's always damn aggressive. Thank God the uh, owner protected me. <laughs> These dogs can get bloody aggressive in this country. So keep that in mind, folks. Even though it uh, apparently closes at five, if you get here at 20 past four, um, they still don't want to let you in unless you grease the wheels a bit. <laughs> now, if you're a foreigner, shit, you probably, like I said, if you can't, well, I'm a foreigner, but as long as you could talk a little bit and um, have a freaking haggle and shit. Yeah, pay a little bribe and I got in. You wanted a dollar? I was like, whatever. Yeah, take take a dollar. It's 
absolutely dead. I think I'm the only one here. Uh, oh, there's monkeys and shit. Hopefully they don't try to steal my uh, camera. Because I think you have food, you know, when they're... Actually, monkeys in Cambodia aren't so aggressive, but in Vietnam and Thailand, super, super aggressive. Aggressive in terms of not them trying to fight you, but them trying to steal your stuff. So this is it, I think. Oh, now the path goes a little bit further, but... um, Yeah, look, it's a dry season. You're not going to have no water. I wasn't expecting anything. Not really a waterfall. I mean, even in the wet season, this looks like it'd just be a river. But, um, I'll walk up a bit more. See if I can find something that's potentially a waterfall. This on Google, and the reviews that everyone's claiming is a waterfall. looks nice and clear and they got these nice swings here um, let's see what else is around here because I don't have much time he says they're close to five so about half an hour Okay, maybe it's down here. Another part of the stream. Still no waterfall. Check Google to see if it's telling the truth that it closes a five. Problem is, you don't trust these lazy bastards. A lot of times I tell you this because he's meant to be working here and it's just too lazy to open the bloody closing time, but um, we'll see. Nah, Google says it closes a six. So either Google's wrong, which could be the case, or the uh, bloke's lying, which is also very, very likely. <laughs> uh. So that way's closed off. I mean, so far, do I reckon it's worth it to come all the way out here? No, 
but like I said if you just enjoy the journey and enjoy and you love riding yeah why not but you know is it worth like twenty dollars by tuk tuk probably not a bit better in the wet season in, your, in the wet season be worth your while but um not in the dry season but you know it only cost me like two dollars to get here and a dollar 25 for the bribe so it's not too expensive okay A bridge up ahead. Oh, I think they're building a resort. There's a sign saying resort area. No glass allowed in resort area. Yeah, so during the wet season, this will be absolutely flooded. It will be very, very nice. Yeah, that must be the uh, resort up, a up ahead. So in about like a, a year's time, you could, pr you could probably stay here maybe. So, in my time in Campot, this is the first time anyone's ever said that foreigners needed to pay money. Which, they probably don't even have to. When I read the Google reviews, not enough of the foreigners said that they had to pay any fee to get in. I think that guy just wanted the, uh, he just wanted a bribe, to be honest. I think he was just bullshitting me. I can see fish in here, just like babies so though, baby, baby fish. Don't see any, any full size fish. I'm not sure if it picks up on camera. But you can see fish swimming about. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll try to, uh, I want to get up there a bit more, but but uh, very, very rocky. One guy in the review said that where's the waterfall? All, all you can see is the stream, and I think he's right. I think this is false advertising. I mean, e even in the uh, wet season, this just be a river, not an actual waterfall. So there you go people, if you're at home and you're thinking about spending 20, 25 bucks to get out here to see a beautiful waterfall, you will be disappointed there's no waterfall and you're going to have to deal with the guy trying to um, get a bribe from you and especially in the dry season there's no water anyway. So maybe in the wet season it'd be worth it but um, I don't know, I think you could see if you go to a Bokor mountain which won't cost you anything. There's no fees at the moment to go there. And um, it's a lot more to see in Bokal Mountain.
Okay. Uh. Don't see any workers. They must have clocked off early. <laughs> Some workers here work till six or after or after after six, depending on how long sunset is. But um, it's freaking dead. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too too much further. Not really much to see, just rocks and rock pools. But no waterfall. I don't know what more on on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. On Google, is saying that this is a waterfall. Whew. It's climbing in. Going through the rocks, you start to sweat your butt off. But after seven months of living here, um, I don't really, well, I don't feel the heat anymore. Like, if anything, I'm starting to feel cold, which is strange. It's so damn hot in Cambodia. And it, and it is the, uh, um, I think it's the third hottest month, month of the year is March. And April and May, I think, um, they're the hottest month of the year, but I don't even use my aircon much anymore. It's gonna to get too cold. Bit of rock graffiti going on. People have chiseled away into the rock. You can see the workers camp there. I can see a rice cooker. <coughs> More rocks and rocks and rocks. I guess the uh, workers would rest here in the hammock when they're not working. Very comfortable there in the shade. Not sure how the workers would get here. Okay, so I'm assuming they'll come by car and motorbike from that road there. Because they uh, sure ain't coming from this way. No way. Okay, folks, if you're at home, definitely, definitely no waterfall. During the dry season, you're just gonna get rock pools. Not, not really any animals here. You won't really see any fish or animals. And in the wet season, there'll be a river. At least the water looks nice and clean because we're pretty far out from town. So it's gonna lack the pollution. I mean, if you had shorts or something, you'd probably go for a swim in here, it'd be very nice. Ah, uh, then again, the locals workers, workers here would be pissing in the water, bathing, cleaning, throwing their detergent in the water. You know what, so I'll take that back. I'll take that back. I don't think it's a good idea to go swimming here.
hopefully I build something good. It's at the moment, it's not really worth traveling to. But maybe in a year's time when, you know, they put, put up some nice buildings and stuff, or a nice uh, restaurant or a nice place to stay and clean it up a bit. Yes, yeah, so I get there at 4.20 and he says it's closed, I can't come in. He thought I, was, uh, I couldn't speak the language. And I say, well, what time does it close? He says, 5. Well, I'm like, it's 4.20. It's not even closed yet. Why is he not letting me in? And I ask him if we just go in for a little bit, you know, just do a little bit of uh, filming. And then he wanted like three bucks for foreigners. I said, I'm not a foreigner. I mean, what do you mean, what, what do you mean by foreigners? He's saying that if you're a Khmer, it doesn't, it's free. But if you're not Khmer, it's three dollars. I said to him that I have a, a Khmer visa and that gives me free entry into places, which is the truth. <laughs> but he was trying to claim that um, I'm still not Khmer, even though I have a Khmer visa. I didn't bring it though. If I would have brought my passport, um, I would have just got in for nothing. But he might still not let me <laughs> in anyway. He's saying that, you know, you gotta come here early in the day. What he's trying to say is that it opens till six, but he wants to go home early. So he doesn't want to wait for me. This is what he's trying to get at. So what he's trying to get at is that, you know, you gotta pay a bribe so he can actually do his job and stay till uh, closing time. That's the thing about some of these workers is that um, they're very lazy and they just want to go home early. when they're getting paid to be here. Okay. I'll uh, head back. That's about it. If this had been an actual real waterfall, even if there was no water, but it was actual a real waterfall, I say it'd be worth it, but it's just a rocky stream or a river. And if, if you're in Camp Pot, you actually have a real river in Kampot, a very, very nice big one that runs through the city. So you have no reason to come out here to see a river when you have a better one in, in town. So it's nearly 10 to 5. By the time I get back, it'll be 5, and then the bloke can go home early. put the, the log across to stop people going that way. No, I have no interest. Like I said, Bokhor Mountain is a lot better. And many, many things to see in Bokhor Mountain. Hopefully the video is educational. It's a warning, do not come here. Unless you could come here very cheap like I did. You know, if you can come here on a motorbike and then you're happy to pay three bucks to get in and you're happy to get here in the early afternoon or before then, yes, yeah, fine, but um, I wouldn't pay a lot of money or go out of my way. Unless you've seen everything in, in Camp Pod and Kep. But you probably haven't, unless you live in Camp Pot in the Cap, you probably would just be better off 
exploring those areas. Um, and plus, it's not that easy to get here. It's easy to get here on the on the highway, but once you finish the highway part, <laughs> like I said, Google's not so accurate. It wasn't so accurate with directions. I'm so happy I came so I could like um let me make content and I could tick it off the list. I don't think I'll be back here. One time's enough. Jeez, what tools do they use to uh chisel this in? I don't know if it's, it doesn't look like Cambodian writing, it kind of looks Chinese. Because Cambodian writing isn't blocky, like Korean and Chinese is blocky. Looks like Tita's been here. So if you're wondering how they do it, they find like a sharp rock, and they use the rock to, uh, Graffiti. Uh, yeah, 40 minutes here is enough. <laughs> Not much to do. There's a monkey family here. Yeah, they're very skittish. They're not so aggressive, which is good. Whew, that's a nice workout. I think I can skip the gym today. There's nothing like climbing stones and boulders <laughs> in tropical heat. Holy shit. This bloke scared the shit out of me. I suppose if you could come here with a group of friends and like have a picnic and have a drink and talk, it'd be okay, but if you're only coming here to see the water, it would be disappointing.
Dog's hiding in his dog den. So what I'll do is I'll record the way out just so you guys can see how to actually get in here. Just smashing down some water. Uh, warning though, the mosquitoes are bad here. I can hear them busting around my ear. Oh, I forgot I uh, got some snacks. Got some lollies in there. Some crackers, keep the blood sugar up. Just some rice crackers. Okay, that's the entrance. There's some um, young bird who lives, looks like she lives here. Okay, it looks like they sell food and drinks there too. Because there's tables and chairs. All right, folks. Yeah, you just follow that dirt road out. There's only one road, and then um, it's like half a mile back to the highway. I don't really have much appetite today. I bought like a, a plate of rice for breakfast, but I only ate half of it. Bye bye. You see, that's the security guard. He was just waiting for me. I knew it. He just wanted to go home early. <laughs> but what a liar. Telling me he's closed at 4.20 when really he just wanted to go home. Anyway, you know, I'm happy, he's happy, he got paid, he got paid a bribe, I got to film, make some content, have a little look around. Burning, burning, that's all you see in Cambodia. Look how much freaking burning there is. That's why in the evening when you try and look at the sunset from the mountains, you can't see the ocean because the Cambodians just pump all this smoke into the air. This is why like the sunset could be better, but it's not because of the, um, the daily burning. Uh, Cambodians, they're just not very educated. 
with pollution. All they do is litter and burn rubbish. I wasn't expecting to see a local running a pushback. Jeez, this bike that I'm on has done a lot of kilometers. I'm just reading the odometer reading. It's done 62,000 kilometers, which is a shit, shitload on the scooter. Yeah. So this bike company that rents out bikes, they're renting out pieces of shit like I suspected. Security guard. So you get to here and then you've got the railway crossing straight ahead and then you've got the school. That's where all the school kids are. So that's the, uh, to give you an idea. So when you see the school here, you turn right to there and then you follow that road and that's how you get to the waterfall. And straight ahead is the highway. Left is west, right is east, right will take you to uh, Sidnookville, and left will take you to Campot. I mean, I still got like an hour and a half of daylight. Maybe I'll go right eastward a bit, or should I just head towards Campot? We'll see. Depends how far away the next town is. Folks, I'm gonna call it a day.
I'm going to enjoy the sunset. Um, I hope you found it interesting and educational. But anyway, this is the entry here. So if you're riding from Camp Hot this direction, look for the blue sign. So if you're coming from Camp Hot, look for the blue sign, then turn right up this road, head towards the school. Once you get to the school, turn right and follow the brown road and you get to the, uh, get to the, fake, uh, the fake waterfall. It's the Lacey security guard. Alright folks, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bob's your uncle.